Hi, this is David. Welcome to Focus Review Part 2, 2012 FRM, the second of eight focus reviews. So that means this is devoted to market risk. And we can finish with the second half of market risk in this focus review. And that means that we'll look at the following high-level concepts as part of the focus review. Value at risk backtesting and VAR mapping. So that's VAR backtesting, VAR mapping. Those are each chapters in Jorian. And then concepts that are all in the Kevin Dowd text, risk metrics, dependence, and extreme value theory. So again, as part of the focus review, keeping it at a very high level with just concepts that we hope are testable. And so I just remind that the VAR back test is essentially a test of the VAR model, assuming a binomial distribution because we have a VAR model. If I take these exhibits here, which replicate from Jorian, and for example, if it's a 99% VAR model and it's correctly calibrated, what we have are an observed number of exceptions or exceedances. And it's really a binomial because either the VAR on any given day will be exceeded or it will not. And so for a 99% VAR, recall that we do expect that loss let's say it's on a daily basis, we do expect that loss to be exceeded on 1% of days. So the fact that the VAR is exceeded does not implicate the model as bad. Rather, we're performing a statistical back test where it's impossible really to eliminate simultaneously both types of errors. Where on the one hand, we might, for example, observe, this is Jordan's example, eight exceptions, so in this case, that would be eight days on which the losses exceeded the VAR. And so we decide to uh, deter, we decide that that VAR model is not accurate or it's a bad model. When in fact, that's just due to statistical random, random variation. And so we would commit there a type one error. On the other hand, the, mo the VAR model, in fact, could be bad. It could be an effectively a 97% VAR model. And really, we think it's a 99% model. But just through random sampling variation under that binomial, it happens to be, it happens to be that only a few three or four exceptions are, are observed. So here, you can just see it's really impossible to know if we observe four exceptions whether we're dealing with a correct model or an incorrect model. We make a statistical decision to accept the model as good, and in this case, risk a type 2 error. And so, this back test in Jorian is essentially an application of a binomial distribution, which in part 2, I'm sure you know, is just a set or series of independent Bernoullis, such that if the probability is 1% under an accurate model, corresponding to a 99% VAR, the binomial distribution tells us, for example, that the probability we would exceed, we would have observe five exceedances over 250 days can, is um, given to us through the binomial distribution. Under the PMF, it's 6.7%. And so we can also express this cumulatively, such that if the VAR model is accurate, you can see it becomes less and less likely that we would observe higher number of exceptions, that is to say, losses in excess of the VAR, such that depending on the confidence level we want to assert, we can <clears throat> reject the uh, null and decide that the model is bad, but we're still going to risk making that type 1 error. So the purpose, the purpose of the focus view is to pull is to tease out some some highly testable prototype questions or case studies, if you will. Let's look at my question 59.1. A bank conducted a back test of its 95% daily value at risk and observed 19% 19 excessive.